Hello everyone. Welcome to Vibrant Authentic Living. This is Nandi and today I am sharing with you about the noni fruits. Now a couple of years ago the noni was all rave and it has become linked or should I say classified among the superfoods you know like the moringa and the chia and a handful of other fruits and herbs that are so jam-packed with nutrients and health benefits that they have been rightly called superfoods right a coconut also being one just a well a handful of others and so i remember when you know the noni was a rave the, the rave everybody was talking about the noni 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 and i remember some of my fellow jamaicans looking around and saying but this is the fruit we used to have growing up in the country and we used to use it stone hog now when jamaicans say that they take something stone hog or stone dog that means it is of very little value to them or it's so much there's so much of it that it's overflowing and they start taking it for granted right so I personally had never seen the noni before and clearly then never tasted it um, and I was listening to everybody saying but we 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 were growing up with this fruit and nobody liked it it smelled bad it tastes bad only the hogs seem to want it and it's all always full of worms and it's just soft they were saying just some terrible things it was i got the impression that growing up in the country this was just something that everybody cut their eyes at and it was a nuisance because it's very soft when it falls from the tree as i've come to realize because now i see noni trees growing about because everybody rushed to plant one because everybody wanted a piece of the noni when it became all the rave right so now you'll see noni trees because i live now in the in the suburb suburbs of um portmore greater portmore but it's fast developing and you could say it's almost city it is in fact a municipality so certainly not country but lots of fruit trees people plant their fruit trees and so on and I, and I realized because even when I went to ask my neighbor for some of his noni so I could show you guys you know under the tree the fruit when they ripen they just fall they're very mushy yes it has a very strong smell and some persons might find it um you know repelling um and you might be walking and you step in it is similar to you know stepping in in animal dung because the color blends in with the undergrowth you don't see it you step in it it's you might slip because it's very slimy too so I can easily see why this fruit was such a nuisance to persons growing up in the country but now um, when they realize the benefits the nutritional benefits and medicinal benefits you know Noni reminds me of the homely girl whom everybody laughed at and derided and 
nobody wanted to sit beside and now as the Charlotte say they give all they learned in school to be somewhere in the dark with the noni well here we are with the noni and I'm going to be telling you all that I know um, so let me first show you so here we have the very delicate fruit it is the most delicate fruit I have ever encountered these are just right just right these ones right and you can see I sliced it you can look at the seeds the pulp is very mushy but let me tell you why I say it's the most delicate fruit and I know a lot of delicate fruits like the cherry for one which you have to make sure you eat it as soon as it's picked or it starts to get mushy once water touches it even when even just to wash it wash it and put it in the fridge it starts to get mushy just like that but the noni is even more delicate just look at the skin I have to be so tenderly touch it if you just do like that you bruise it look like I just did that and I bruised the skin see that just to brush against it bruises the skin so you can imagine just see I just put a little ounce look, that look like it, it come apart in my hand so it is extremely delicate it's like someone <laughs> I don't want to make another negative comparison but you know it's like someone who has some skin disorder and they are so sensitive so delicate you just have to be extremely careful not to bruise them this, that's how the noni is see that's the outer skin and I just went like this and the skin is gone all right let's taste it some people describe it as being bitter um, kind of pungent I wouldn't say it's bitter it's definitely pungent it is sharp you taste that um, it tastes vinegary vinegary and it leaves it's leaving now a slight burning sensation on my tongue it's definitely not one of those fruits that you know you would dream about and can't wait to get up and eat definitely not one of those fruits so for the noni I would say it's an acquired taste and to be honest I think most persons who use the noni do so for its nutritional value so let's get to that the noni as I said is a super duper rich chock full of nutrient fruits it contains tons of antioxidant vitamins inflammatories flavonoids and these of course help to promote the good health of the body the antioxidants particularly vitamin C vitamin A and also contains vitamin B3 and iron vitamin c in particular is one of those 
antioxidants that really rev up the immune system and make us more resistant to inflammatory conditions, um, microbial infections, and just generally be able to deal with our environment, right? Because remember, microbes naturally, excuse me, naturally occur in the environment. There are parts of our world that we just have to learn to live, to, to live with them. They actually were here before us. So it's not a matter of we don't want them around. We have to live with them. We have no choice. But when our immune system is working properly, we are able to, first of all, clean out the system so the microbes will not take up residence and refuse to leave. We won't invite them in. Because we really invite them in by leaving the waste. They come to actually help us to clear out the waste, right? So. If you don't allow the waste to become stagnant in the body, then the overabundance of microbes will not occur. And fruits like the noni help us to eliminate waste gradually and efficiently so there is no accumulation in the body. The noni Several studies have been conducted on the noni for the past 10 to 15 years and these studies have found that the noni helps to lower the risk of several cancers. It helps to lower the risk of gout, which is an um, inflammatory condition of the joints, similar to arthritis, where the uric acid accumulates and irritates the joints causing severe pain so the noni juice reduces the buildup of uric acid in the body and so it quells the arthritis and the gout noni is excellent for the skin again because of the antioxidants that it contains which help to um, promote good skin replenishing and elasticity of the skin. So noni is an anti-aging fruit. It has anti-aging properties. It helps to reduce stress and generally boost your immunity and promotes cardiovascular health and on and on and on and on and on. Mm. I have not, I have not acquired a taste for the noni. This is one of the few fruits that I must confess I don't like the taste of it. I think I would prefer it um, in juice where I can combine it with some of the tastier juices. I'm thinking now some pineapple would go very well with the noni. Definitely some pineapple would take this noni to some places some passion fruits hmm let me see which other fruits would boost this uh, so anything with a tongue I think what this noni needs is some tongue you know some passion some pine some mango some mango juice anything like that Combined, yes, I think that's how I would prefer to have it, and that's how I'm going to have these. Because I'm what I'm going to do now, I'm going to juice, I'm going to extract the juice from these plants, 
and I'm going to combine them with other juices and of course you know every time I make a juice I share it with you so you're going to see how I prepare this noni what I combine it with and I think it would taste very good in combination with some other other more mellow fellows yes so thanks for staying with me as we chat about this super duper duper food if you would like to become a contributor to the channel you can follow the link in the description just go on over to patreon and become a supporter if at this late stage you still have not subscribed to vibrant authentic living now is the time to do so so go on over to that button and press subscribe drop me a line and let me know have you tried the noni have you ever tasted it how do you feel about it and how do you have it and don't forget to share the videos so others may benefit from the information and may be inspired to make healthy choices so until next time this is nandi signing out going to make my noni juice right now all right take care